Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rentinho, this is my friend and student Fong. Today I would like to demonstrate the submission system. Very easy, from mount. We have three submission. Most of you guys already know, a straight diamond lock, Americana shoulder lock and a ZKL choke. So it's going to depend where my opponent put the elbow. One example, arm lock and shoulder lock. His arm is going to be up. Okay, protecting the, the neck is when they he exposed the elbow, elbow or shoulder. It's gonna depend if he's pushing my chest, the elbow is light, it's when I can go to straight time lock. If he's closing the elbow, the wrist is light, it's when I can go to Americana shoulder lock. If he wants to protect the shoulders and the elbow, is when he exposed the neck. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate every detail step by step plus when you apply each one. So can you lay down please? So first, the reason I like mount so much is because mount, in my opinion, is the most effective position in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The reason is, I'm on top of my opponent putting the weight and I can control lower body putting my hooks and I can control the upper body controlling the head. So right here, I'm going to put my hooks inside, toes face up to the ceiling and I will take my knee off the ground. Once I'm doing this, my weight goes to my opponent's hip. And then I control the head. So right now, look, I'm controlling upper body, lower body, his back is flat on the ground. Is when it's gonna be very easy for me to apply those techniques. So right here, I'm going to control his shoulder, all right? From here, it's gonna depend where he put in the pressure. One example, let, let's go to the straight arm lock first. I, if you feel the pressure on your chest, this means the elbow is light. If I try to go to Americana right now, it's gonna to be too hard. Just like if you close the elbow. If I try to go to the straight arm lock because I saw on the internet, it's gonna be very hard to apply. It's when the elbow is in, wrist the, I'm going to control his wrist, and then I can go to the Americana shoulder lock. So let's go step by step right here. I feel the pressure right here, guys, and I feel he don't have a connection to his elbow and his body. It's when I can swing my arm, elbow on the ground. Now look, if my elbow is on the same line of my opponent uh, uh, armpit, this means he has better leverage. So right here, look, I'm going to put my palm on the ground and then I face my hand in. Once I'm doing this, I have better leverage than him. I walk to cross his arm and then I put his elbow above of his shoulder line. This one is gonna be very hard for him to replace. Then I control the neck. So right now, I'm going to fight to the other side. Is when I'm going to put my back hook in and then I drop my front hook. Once I'm doing this, it's gonna be very easy for me to open this elbow. If I'm here, he can close the elbow. Once I'm doing this, I open his elbow and then I do the same thing. Elbow on the ground. Elbow off the ground, he can fight back. No, please. It's going to be very hard for me. I need connection. The more connection I have, the more effective I am. Boom. What? If I want to keep the pressure on my opponent's hip to don't let him bump the hip, I will make a grip behind the head. Gable grip. My left elbow is on the ground. So this means what? I'm going to the left side. I'm going to attack his, okay, the left side right here. So I start walking. One. Two, bring his head to my chest. My heel on the ground, toes up to the ceiling, I'm going to bring. All right? So when I start walking, if I want to release the head, I need to use my leg to keep his head off the ground so I can eliminate his hip movement. I'm going to attack his arm. I go to the wrist, raise my elbow, hand on the ground, Knee go to the ground so I can have more arm inside. So right now, guys, when it comes to the mistake here, my body is facing to that direction and my leg is facing to that direction. People try to do this. We learn on the fundamental class that we need to pass the leg before we lay back. Okay? So what Fong is going to do, he's going to control my collar and then put the elbow on my leg right here. If my leg is like that, facing out, he can just can move the hip out, and then right now he can come to my close guy. Okay, come back please. So I'm gonna help you to fix this, this problem. 
Once I have this, I will drive my knees to the ground. My, you can keep your elbow right here very, very strong, please. Hold. Yes, yes, you can hold my collar. So right here, guys, as soon as I lift, now we're gonna close, bringing his elbow towards my belly. Now I can drive my hip forward, going just straight down the line. These are submission number one. When my opponent pressure my, my chest using his hand or wrist. Submission number two. I have a shoulder control right here. Everything the same. But right now, look, I don't have a space there. Boom, so I go to the wrist. One thing I like to do is always facing to the side that I'm fighting. So right here, look, if, if I face into him and then I try to fight against his arm, he can't resist. So I, if I feel his elbow in, face into the arm so I can open space, push, control with my bottom hand. As soon as I have this control right here, my wrist has to go up right away because he's gonna try to extend his arm. If my wrist is down, his arm's gonna fight against my fingers. So I'm going to lift my wrist. Try to extend, right now he cannot. Swing my hand, control my own wrist. Not done, okay? Just make it like a, like a monkey grip. Now I go around the head because I cannot submit my opponent if his elbow is on the same line of his shoulder or above. I need to bring his elbow below the shoulder line. So I go around, he's going to have another problem here. If my opponent is strong, he can drag my arm, okay? He can extend, so I heal it's going to be very hard for me to bring his elbow below. Come back, please. If I don't have weight on this elbow, if this help will like just touch the ground, go, go extend, so when he can go, come back. As soon as I get hit, back hook come in, and then I drive my way to this elbow. Wrist up, go try, try to extend, now he cannot. This arm is gonna be using just to bring his arm back and then lift, okay? This arm, I don't need to put him on the ground. I need the weight on this arm, this elbow, and then the wrist up. So we made. Now, these are number two. Let's go to number three, the Ezekiel choke. Once I control the head, all right, and I don't have arm to, to attack for some reason, or he drop his elbow too much, or he cross the arm right here to try to start to work on the, on the elbow escape. If he do the elbow escape facing to that side, I control across to put his shoulder on the ground. If his arm is just right here, that's okay, because he, he he don't choose any side. So right now, guys, we talk about keeping his head off the ground. So that's why I make a grip on top of the shoulder so I can keep his head uh, off, off the ground right here. If I want you to go to the Ezekiel, he's gonna be like no space. It's when I need to open. Okay, so right here, I don't have access for his arm. It's when I'm gonna drop my chest a little bit. Once I push forward, I'm going to put my palm up so I can create a space to put my hand inside right here, look. Make a fist, and then I hold my own wrist. I make this grip. All right? The reason I like this grip, because this is working gi or no gi, this system is gonna be working for you. Back, forward. Using my chest to open the space, put my hand inside, make a, make a fist, hold my own forearm, so now I, you squeeze the elbow, go into the choke. So guys, you guys just learned a very easy system from mount. Three submissions, and uh, all depend where your opponent put the pressure. Wrist, elbow, or arm down. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Peace.